Let's see what happens when a small black hole, a large black hole, and stay for the end because a supermassive black hole does to the Earth. We're going to start with the small black hole, obviously. Let's get rid of these two. This is a very small black hole. But even though it's not that big, it still weighs as much as the Earth. But black holes, when they aren't moving, aren't that interesting. They kind of look like this, which, I mean, it's cool, but we can get more interesting. So we're actually going to take the Earth and we're going to move it. We're going to set its velocity here to 10 and a quarter. Now, when we run this simulation, we can see it actually gets pulled because of the tidal forces of the black hole pulling the Earth. It looks kind of cool. Let's watch it for a second. We can make the Earth orbit a little closer to this black hole, and that's going to greatly amplify these tidal forces here pulling the planet, and it's going to actually start to rip it apart a little bit. But because this is our small black hole, we really don't see much effect until we move to the medium one. This is the large, even though I know I said medium, our large black hole, which is actually just going to suck it up if we don't set any velocity to it. So let's do that now. We're going to set this to about 17. And we're going to run this. I actually haven't seen what this does yet, but it, it rips it apart and it forms. This is what's called an accretion disk. Uh, the matter from some sort of object gets ripped apart from the black hole. And it looks pretty cool, pretty swell, pretty interesting. It's, it's deadly for sure. I mean, would you, would you want to live on a planet like this? But a little bit of the Earth did actually survive and it's now a planet, a planet orbiting a black hole or a moon. I don't know which one this is large enough to qualify as, but we can go ahead and watch this all in one piece. But enough of the large black hole. Get that out of here. What we're looking for is the super massive black hole. Watching this one was terrifying. So I could only imagine what this would look like in real life. Let's see it. Instead of getting pulled apart so strong from amazing tidal forces, we actually get slowly ripped apart into like rings for the black hole. This is how our rings are formed on normal planets. But this is just a step above. This looks so deadly. I mean, how would you survive this though? I mean, there's got to be a way to survive this, right? How would you do it? If you were lucky enough to live on this little ejected mass right here, I guess you could survive. And the view would just be terrible, terrifying. I don't know what I'd do in this situation. What do you think of black holes? Would you like to be sucked into a black hole?